Hey, welcome to Luke chapter 18 now, and today verses 9 to 14. Let's jump right into it. Also, he spoke this parable to some who trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. Two men went up to the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself, God, I thank you that I am not like other men, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as this tax collector. I fast twice a week, I give tithes of all that I possess, and the tax collector, standing afar off, would not so much as raise his eyes to heaven, but beat his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other, for everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. So notice uh, key things we learn here in this parable. Jesus tells it to some who thought that they were righteous, and Jesus has a message for them. And that could be a message for you and I. Have we ever thought maybe maybe that we're righteous? Well, look at the, the, this lesson. Two guys go up to the temple to pray. The guy in the front is a Pharisee. And he's praying, oh, I'm so glad I'm not like a tax collector in the back. The, you know, here's this guy in the back, the tax collector. He's just barely could bring up the courage to enter the building. And he stays as far back as he can. And he says, oh, God, please be merciful to me, a sinner. He's truly, deeply repentant. And so guess what the outcome here is then? Well, he finishes his prayer, the Pharisee, and he goes home and he's not righteous. And the tax collector who actually repents, he goes home and it says he. Well, what was, what was the, the, the statement? I tell you, 14, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. So the man who was deemed to be so unjust and wicked when he repented, God received him and he justified him. He made him righteous he gave, forgave him his sin, and he made him righteous in Jesus. And so that man is a transformed man. And God willing, we'll meet that, that person. And I'm looking forward to meeting people like that in heaven. People who simply were humble and surrendered to God and received his gift of forgiveness. On the other hand, it's going to be kind of hard to find too many Pharisees in heaven. That population will be uh, limited only to those repented. Pharisees who stopped trusting in themselves. Let's pray. Father in heaven, help us to trust in Jesus and Jesus alone for our righteousness. Help us to be actively about your work, Lord, but at the same time, knowing that all of the goodness that we have, we receive from Jesus. We don't give you anything except a sin-damaged heart. Now, Lord, transform us. Thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Friend, may you be blessed today throughout your day.